Okay, Bionic Dews. This is a new game out from Arson Games, I believe is the name of it. An indie game, a strategy RPG. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this and see if we can get the basics down. You get to fight in these mechs. They're customizable. Uh, let's go ahead and load into a new game. Starting a new game on the picture screen, you can click on any of these mechs and change them out if you want. Uh, you have an assault mech, a <coughs> gets a plus 30 to all shields, powerful grenade launcher, a siege mech designed for mounting ultra heavy and limited, area, limited ammo siege weapons that take care of groups. Uh, you have the science mech, which uh, has plus 50% computer stat perfect for hacking, scanning, and jamming. Uh, borderline weapons and shields, so he's not a fighter. And then you have the ninja, silent, deadly, 50% to all propulsion stats, immune to splash damage. We also have different drivers over here that come with different, uh, I guess you'd call them perks. Um, sorry, you can choose your difficulty, and normal is what we're after because we're horrible. So, Tuck, or we have Axis. Um, has the ability to see four missions out on the city map instead of the usual three, which uh, I'll show you what that means a little later. Emma, let's see. Ah, so this one lets you see the missions and it gives you the ability to skip one. Uh, Emma is a young socialite. Let's see. She gets more money back from the store when she sells stuff and she gets to buy stuff at a discounted rate. Meg is able to utilize her skills and knowledge to get better performance out of the parts. So a Mark IV would have the uh, Mark VI stats. That's nice. And we got Tuck. He gets a normal call. He uh, <coughs> skills at sleuthing lend him enormous tactical advantage in the missions. He can see both his objective and the location of all terminals and loot without exploring them. And Genji has the ability to bring the expos the exos back. Sorry. Hmm. Bring all four exos And Ray has teleportation technology. I think this is who I'm going to use. Uh, so, in practice, that he can... The first two times you lose an EXO in each mission, it will instead be replaced with a completely restored version of itself. So let's, uh, let's go with him. And he's using the... The city's under attack by bot forces. Just launched a surprise bombing run against our main hangars. Destroyed all our EXO. All right, I'm going to... Fast forward through that. I don't want to spoil that for you. Um, this is what the city map looks like. You have your hot tips coming up. You have 50 days. Each mission will bring you will take one day and bring you closer to the final battle. Uh, so when you the robot command center missions take five days off the clock instead of one, allowing you to provoke the final confrontation in as little as 30 days. take on the 50 missions in anywhere you want. Don't have to worry about a lot of that. Mostly we just want to go to the battles. All right, here's your city map. On the left over here you have your, your stuff. You have your mechs lined up over here. You have the store. Uh, and if you click on any of them, it takes you to the customization screen. You get loots for winning mission, hacking locked doors, uh, spending credits at the store. And you customize your your mechs out like this. Each one has three weapons, shields, reactor, and propulsion set, uh, and computer. So if you check your inventory, these are your, what you have, like an overcharger, which uh, consumes your power, but it's plus shield. It gives you <laughs> added stats to shields, weapons. Um, you have a rifled barrel. 
consumes 10 power minus 2 power needed by parts in the same system. And it's plus 10 a percent attack power. Uh, containment chamber consumes power, but uh, if you put it in the reactor, it gives a 12% total power generation plus 12%. And if you put it in the weapon, it's a 20 plus 25% area of effect. So all of these do something and they all fit in different sections like this one fits in the computer this one fits in the area of effect weapons and the reactor fits in weapons fits in reactor some fit everywhere some fit specific places and here's the store where you can buy the different things uh, not sure what the difference between the blue and the purple is at this point but as you can see we have no money so we can't do anything there so uh, the assault mech has plus 30 shields, pl plus 8 sensor range, and plus, plus 10 stealth actions. Siege has 10 range and plus 5 stealth actions. No damage reduction on either of those. The ninja has uh, plus 50% to propulsion related stats, plus 10 sensor range, and plus 12 stealth actions per mission. And the science vessel he does all the hacking he gets a little stealth which he gets 15 stealth that uh, that's nice comes in handy uh, if we go to the computer on that and see it just shows you what goes in your part that you picked uh, plus three hacking points per mission plus two century turrets so let's put that in there for him let's go to the assault mac Grenade launcher, not uh, area of effect. Radio, not, uh, attack power goes up 30. See, that's your ammo. You have limited ammo 35, 35, 55, 14, 14. Propulsion, nothing going there. Uh, so let's see, I don't know, let's put him in here for now. And let's go to the city map. Let's pick our missions. You have factory missions. <clears throat> Where they make bots this helps um, on the on the right side here is the bots forces building up the robot army because uh, that's a command center mission and it tells you how many units of each one and what level they are and i believe as you troll through the map these numbers will go up maybe down um, what you're doing is trying to fortify your section and control these numbers from getting too high and we have hostage rescue missions, uh, firefight missions, destroy all the bots to win, science station, uh, capture high quality computer parts there, uh, blockade, destroy all robot, robots here to clear the blockade. Uh, if you fail, they will reinforce back to full strength. This is a very easy one, but it should still take a day. And there's barely any loot. Make sure there's something on the other side worth getting to or look elsewhere for a better mission. So on the other side of it is a science station, two science stations. So it might be worth it. And then this is your headquarters, which is this. It also shows you your health for that. You have five of five. If you lose a mission, you go to this mission and you lose. And I can show you this shortly, I'm sure. Um, you'll lose a point. If you lose a point, then you need to find a salvage mission. Construction vehicle and supplies we can salvage from this area lets us repair one health point if HQ is damaged. So if it's not damaged, you don't necessarily need to do a salvage mission. So, a hacker infested at a center with three times the usual number of locked doors with loot behind them. So let's go there first. Click on that. 
A turn is a single action, one step, one shot, one ability, switch and exo, all that is one turn. So everything moves real quickly while you're moving until you get to an enemy. And when you engage, then it actually feels like a turn by turn. Every step you take is actually a turn. Uh, Alright, so here's your X snow. You can switch these with the different 6, 7, 8, and 9 numbers. Switch out your different XOs. XOs. <laughs> and with uh, 1 through 5, control your, your weapons. So I have... Take the one on. We'll go with the laser rifle. And you move with your WASAD keys. WASD keys. So as you can see, you can see over here is an Eagle bot, which has an attack of 50, so he's not too terribly. Um, but you can't see down this hallway. You can see down this hallway. Here you have mines. Here you have a false wall that you can destroy. Explosive room. You can blow this up with a grenade. I believe uh, grenade, plasmas, area of effect weapons will set it off. And then you can uh, do extra damage to enemies. So let's go this way and see if we can carry him. Mm -hmm. There's a dumb bot. And if you hold your mouse over your weapons, it will show you where you can shoot. So you keep sailing along. The blue indicates places you have not explored yet. There's a door. So the problem with that is if you bounce through the door, sometimes there's five robots like this one. So there's cover. Oh, you sneaking up on us. I missed him there. And cover can't be destroyed as well as mines, but they do take ammo to shoot them. So let's see if we can. And you just kind of have to use your strategy. See, if I go up in there, they're just going to kill me. Now that's a blast bot, a bat bot, excuse me, a bat bot, and it has an attack of 300, so he's pretty studly. So let's see if we can grenade him, and as you see, an area of effect weapon. Systems offline. So this map's going rather well for us, but as you can see, it's easy to get yourself in a world of trouble. See, open the door and lots of enemies await you. But nothing going, so. switch to our science and we can hack and as you can see we have 14 hacks. I believe we started with 10 and got to bonus 3. We can also deploy 3 sentry turrets. Alright, that 
that's a new one. I have not seen that. So let's unlock the door and we got some loot. Entering this will restore the exo shields to maximum. Probably shouldn't have used that yet. You can come back to those. And we have Miser's something. All about a field emitter. Shows what appear in your message log what you got. Oh, that blew up and didn't do me any good.
about the final battle, and that's a little bit of how this game works. Uh, it's kind of the basics in here. Uh, you can uh, scroll into areas. It's kind of nice, and I don't know what if anything changed over here. They're all still level one. That's always good. We didn't take any damage because we didn't lose, and we can go back and customize our mechs. If we check your inventory. There's all the new things that we acquired while we were in there. That was loot we picked up. That might have been, I can't remember. Thrifty, uh, I can't remember how much loot we picked up. As you can tell, I don't pay much attention, so. Okay. Plus 18 ammo capacity. Fits in energy weapons. Plus one attack range, plus 12% power. Okay, that goes in the computer. We can put that in the science guide. So let's just go back that way. Let's go to our assault mech. Um, in the reactor, we can add Mark One generator and Mark Two. That would be the way to go. If we go to the weapon attack of 120. This is what I was looking for. Yep, it goes to 220 on the attack power. The reactor. turrets a ninja nothing for the weapons shield consumes power but increases the shields Charger, which consumes 10 power. So let's go to our siege mech. kind of the same so there it is I'll do one more mission and then we'll call it good but that looks uh, to be what it's about as you clear the map you get check marks from the ones you win uh, the factory discover one of the factories number of fabrication machines on the floor each one you destroy will reduce the level of random final battle robots by one even better bots will not level up at the end of the day if you manage to win this mission by destroying every last fabricator. So let's try that. Well, we have our assault mech. Well, we have very limited vision. And you can wait if you don't want to move. Another blunderbot. Alright. So we got through that safely. A fuel tank. If you can get a bunch of enemies around a fuel tank, it's very explosive and uh, it's kind of nice to get rid of everybody. Oh, 
So since a rain. Across the map, there's two more, three more of those that we need to kill. A bunch of bots around them, so.
goodness me, goodness me. That was bad. And we have the ninja. Attack 120, attack at 300. Oh, he's got no range. When you lose. Back out on another mission. Why don't you check out the scout intel and see where you want to head next? And that's it. That's what happens when you lose. You get the big X on it. You can't go back to that location. Um, you can't go back into it. As you can see, the numbers increased and. Uh, there it is telling you they gained levels and that's it it's a pretty fun little game i'm enjoying it i think it's uh pretty interesting the music's pretty decent i like the title song and it's just kind of fun you have to watch where you where, where, where you're going if you bail off in there it's just gonna make you pay for it and uh, you can use the stealth there's lots of different combinations with the different mechs the different exos that you can use with stealth and hacking and put the sentry turret up if we make that work and uh, all right well i just wanted to give you a quick look kind of give you the basic rundown of it let us know what you think in the comments and uh, thanks for tuning in <laughs>